In this video, we are going to describe how to assemble a March Series 7 pump. Here are a few safety notes to keep in mind while working on these pumps. The complete March Series 7 pump is somewhat heavy, so use appropriate lifting practices when handling the pump. The March Series 7 pump contains powerful magnets. Special precautions should be taken to avoid personal injury when working around the components of this pump. Persons who use a medical device or have a medical condition that may be affected by magnetic fields should not work on these pumps until they have consulted with their health care provider to determine whether they are safe to do so. Note that these instructions are generally applicable to all March pump models. Here we see the parts of the pump. Here is the front housing. This is the impeller. This is the rear housing. This is the pump shaft. This is the thrust washer. Here is the O-ring. Here is the drive magnet assembly. Here is the motor bracket. Here is the motor itself. Finally, we have the screws. Before we begin, here are the tools that will be needed to carry out the assembly process. We'll need to have a ratchet wrench. We're going to use both 3 8 inch drive and quarter inch drive wrenches for the two different size screws used in this pump. We'll also need an Allen wrench, as well as two small straight edges. We'll begin the assembly process by preparing the front housing. We'll take the pump shaft and thrust washer and slip the thrust washer over the end of the shaft, aligning their D-shapes. With these two parts loosely assembled to each other, we'll take the end of the pump shaft and insert it into the D-shaped hole in the front housing. Press it in firmly until it stops. Next, take the impeller and slip it over the pump shaft until its front surface makes contact with the thrust washer. Next, hold the rear housing in one hand and slip the o-ring over the front end of the rear housing. Now take the previously assembled front housing and impeller and combine it with the rear housing. Slip the rear housing over the back end of the impeller and engage the front end of the rear housing with the back end of the front housing. Also be sure to align the bolt holes on both parts. Seat the parts firmly together. This assembly is called the wet end assembly. Now that it is complete, put this assembly aside for now. Next, prepare to install the drive magnet assembly. Position the motor in front of you. Be sure that the power has been disconnected from the motor when working on it. Rotate the motor shaft so that the flat on the shaft is facing up and hold the drive magnet assembly so that one of its set screws is also facing up. Slide the drive magnet assembly onto the motor shaft and screw the set screw facing up slightly in, just enough to prevent the drive magnet assembly from rotating. Next, seat the motor bracket against the face of the motor. Then push the drive magnet assembly in, so that its face is slightly below the front face of the motor bracket. Now take the two straight edges and use them to help position the drive magnet assembly 1 8 inch below the front face of the motor bracket. Once the drive magnet has been correctly located, remove the motor bracket from the motor, then fully tighten the two set screws. Now install the motor bracket again and use the screws to clamp it in place, tightening them with the wrench. Next, take the previously assembled wet end assembly and slip it into the just assembled power end assembly. Hold these two assemblies firmly in your grip as you bring them together, as the magnet forces will pull on them strongly. 
align the bolt holes on these two assemblies, then install the screws to hold them together. Tighten all the screws with a wrench. This completes the Series 7 pump assembly process. Be sure to check the March Pump website for the latest product specifications.